Monday through Friday from 11 a.m., 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. We are here live, syndicated on over 80 AM and FM stations now across the country. Show's growing. Simulcast on WWCR, Global Shortwave. XM carries us uh, on Saturdays, and they're talking about picking up the show. They're trying to find a spot to carry it live. They didn't want to carry it taped uh, five days a week. In fact, I forgot to announce today, because today's the show they're taping to air Saturday evenings. I need to... I've got it in my email, the um, station number on XM and Sirius uh, that we're going to be on. I need to need to announce that. We just get so busy here with the news and information, we forget. But I will plug that uh, by the middle of the next hour. Very thankful that that is happening because the information we cover is becoming so mainstream. I mean, all these years they said world government didn't exist. All these years they said we were crazy. Exactly what we said was going to be done has now been announced. A bank of the world that you will pay your carbon taxes to. That is coming up as we break down what's happening with GM being imploded. By design, many mainline economists are agreeing with what we've said, that they're destroying it by design to hack it up and give it to Russia, China, and, of course, Brazil, that is where different divisions of GM are being sold off to. Uh, this is just absolutely horrible. And uh, they're using the money because did you know that under the World Trade Organization treaty agreements that they can't take stimulus money or bailout money and only give it to U.S. companies or to spend it inside the United States? They have to per capita depending on uh, how much GDP there is in different nations, give pieces of it in negotiations to other countries. And so you notice that World Trade Organization member countries are all getting pieces of it. Russia, China, Brazil. They all have very powerful chairs at the table as permanent members of the World Trade Organization board. All nations don't get to join. So, see, that's the global corporate, it's, it's corporate private. Governments signed a, con a contract, a treaty with them. We can always get out of the treaty, but they won't because Congress is sold out to where that's something people aren't pointing out, that of the $787 million stimulus package, a lot of that money, most estimates are about half. We're not sure yet because the White House had promised, that's another lie, to make every dollar accountable and where it was being spent. Now they won't tell anybody where it's going. They just say, oh, a lot of it's going to build GM plants in China and Brazil and Russia. <laughs> the $787 billion and now the $30 billion to GM is going to fund moving it. This is an AP in Bloomberg. They admit the money's going to move it to those countries, to move whole divisions of GM to those countries. China isn't really paying for Hummer. They're being given the money to do it. And $108 billion is being given on top of the hundreds of billions that have already been given to the IMF and World Bank of our taxpayer money. we got to pay not just the money but interest on to the bankers so they can then give it to India and Russia and China and other nations. I mean, that's globalism. A private World Trade Organization board. Who can come up with a screw job like that? We pay to have GM put into bankruptcy. And see, GM wouldn't go along with it. So Obama said, I'm going to fire the CEO if he doesn't step down. We're going to destroy you in the media. The White House chief of staff comes out and says... Obama. Obama. Think about the magnitude of that. Obama. Then they take it over and they bust it up in pieces and they hand it over to foreign nations. That's all part of globalization. That's why they've had tax incentives for 20 years to move offshore. The federal government wants you to not have jobs. They want you to be dependent on them. They admit it in their own white papers. You understand how dastardly this is? Nah. They want you dependent in every nation, whether it's Poland or Russia or the United States. It's all about divide and conquer, where all the assets are in private, offshore, corporate hands, not in the nation. They use your tax money to line their pockets. But the details are all secret, because Obama is a congenital, degenerate liar. Obama. All right, I got to stop there, folks. We got Luke Radowski coming up here in just a moment. Made uh, big national news on Fox.
News and other publications. Gilbrand, Senator, tells truthers she supports a new investigation in 9-11, first picked up by Hot Air and was put on Fox and other national outlets. We are changed Luke Radowski and others questioned her about a new investigation. A clip of that's coming up after we talked to Luke, and then it made national attention, and they said, shouldn't there be a new investigation? The majority of victims' families want a new investigation. You know, I've had Bill Doyle and others on the show, the head of the biggest 9-11 group, he said the majority of them think 9-11 was an inside job. You ever actually talk to the families? The firefighters, the police, they got polls where, what, 84% of Americans, New York Times poll, believe we've been lied to about 9-11? What's Obama do? He goes out in his Cairo speech and says, there's are those of you out there who don't believe the official story of 9-11. You're bad. 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 And he went on to say, you think terrorism's good. What? what how sick. If you don't believe the official story of 9-11 and think there's a cover-up, then he, he went on to say, you think 9-11 was good. I mean, boy, that is some sick, twisted filth. All right, so that's uh, coming up. Uh, we're going to talk to Luke Radowski in about 60 seconds. I wanted to tell you about one of our sponsors uh, before we did that first. We have a great sponsor there, 